document in this little board. This is a spark one version of the board. It's based upon a chip I can't remember. I'll stick it in at the bottom of the video. And uh, essentially, it's uh, pretty much a simple enough chip. A couple passives on the outside. Manufacturer makes a chip, and you could buy this whole board from different manufacturers a lot cheaper. I think I paid 20 US plus shipping. And by the time I got it here, it was quite a bit more, but notwithstanding, it's pretty simple to connect up. Right, they have that many connections ground 3.3 volts, it runs on 3.3. And uh, pretty much, yeah, just put in 3.3 the ground, connect up the um, output to the analog. And these are the inputs, the three inputs, which you can also use this jack to do. And those are my three inputs. And one is right arm, left arm, right leg. So that's what the three inputs are. And basically, simple Arduino program, simple sketch, and use the processing program, and it works, it works, it works out really well. I will just stick in a, um, a clip of someone, um, one of the ECGs. Now, of course, not being a medical professional, I don't really know how to read that. Um, but yes, you could see regular movement, you could see regular things, you could kind of understand if something is going wrong understand exactly what's going on heck no i mean this is still this is not a medical device it is some probably a medical grid chip but that's not a medical device um you need to get a proper doctor if not this these now can be run with some stick on um contacts or they're the suction type contacts that the doctors use and what i had in mind was basically a piece of um elastic uh with velcro so you can strap it around your right arm, strap it around your left hand, and in that uh, rivet or thumbtack type thing that this can clip onto. So you have contact and you have a, a consistent force and consistent pressing. I think that's a lot better. Let me go and grab the um, the stick on contacts and just show what I'm talking about. And probably grab one of the press on, the suction type contacts and show what that looks like quickly this is a suction type contact you press this and there's a ball here and it creates a suction it stays on the skin it needs some gel and you clip onto here so that's not too bad this is a stick on type contact right if you look on the other side these things are basically sticky gel type things uh, this glue is starting to feel on this one but yes and you clip onto this tab and essentially stick it on the correct position but these are like single use i mean they're not really practical this isn't too bad but it still it falls off because this has a suction you don't get good suction and it falls off i think an elastic with just a metal tab attached that you clip onto and velcro will do a much better job this is a typical readout that you get from the board and it's directly through um the arduino uh, serial monitor and coming into the processing program as I said, I can't really interpret it, but it could be useful to do this periodically and see if it varies and that may be a warning that you probably need some professional advice.